extremely slow, but it otherwise wouldn't be doing that normally. And I'm streaming to the phone at the same time, it's like a lot to like handle, but you can see. It's time. Guess what? There's a lot of motherfuckers out there saying that this ain't possible, but I'm about to show you the impossible, because guess what? Guess what they're going to try to tell me? But there isn't a 3DS emulator for Android phones, but there's blah, 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 but it's impossible, but it doesn't work, but blah, 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 blah. Shut that shit up. Let me show you how this works. Here is a 3DS emulator for Android phones. Hope you guys enjoy this shit. <laughs> Alright, look man, I got an exciting, exciting video today and I really hope you guys enjoy this shit because I'm telling you, it is absolute magic. And when I say magic, I mean magic. So look, check this out. Good morning to you guys. I don't know if it's morning when you're watching this. Good morning, afternoon, whatever, evening, night, whatever fucking time it is. This is a tutorial. Yes, a tutorial, and I'm teaching you something. This is a tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to put, not put, I'm gonna show you how to play like Pokemon X and Y, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and any other 3DS game you want on your phone. Now, a lot of people are saying, no, there's no 3DS emulator for Android phones. Shut that shit up, I'm gonna show you I'm the very first person who's going to show you how to really do this and this is really like a hack and a kind of like a workaround I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible because I know you guys don't have much time and you're probably like dude get to the fucking point I know I'm sorry Okay, so moving on First I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a video inside here that's an old video I know you guys are gonna think that like I'm dude you've already seen this video if you've already seen this video just skip to the end of this part like and I'll put an indicator here to tell you what point to skip to now if you haven't seen it watch it through fully in its entirety because it's important that I include this video in this one as well together so that way it can be a complete tutorial for those who aren't who haven't seen the previous video all right, guys, the website that you need to go to to download this is citra-emu.org. I will go ahead and put that in that link in the description. What you're going to do is you're going to go over to, you need to be on your PC. It doesn't work on anything else, just your PC. You can play on your phone too, but what you have to do is get a streaming app like Kaney, like I previously showed you guys on how to play Kingdom Hearts and all that on your phone as well. So go ahead and click download. Go ahead and you're gonna find the Windows 64 bit. You don't have to you don't have to go with um, the latest nightly build if you guys want I can upload my current build. You'll download that. Once it downloads, I've already downloaded it, so I'm gonna open my downloads folder. So go ahead and, uh, okay, so Citra. See right there? Citra latest. You go ahead and just click on that and open it. See, you know, greet it with this. Now, you might not be able to open 7Z files. If you can't, you go ahead and download this program called WinRAR, and it will unzip anything for you. Anything, any zip files or any type of file like that, even ISO files. So, you're going to see a bunch of folders. You're going to highlight all those. You're going to go to your desktop. You're going to create a new folder. New folders right here. You don't even have to name it yet if you don't want. You can name it whatever you want, literally. Open that up, take this, drag this out into the new folder. And once you've done that, boom. So I'm gonna put a, a link to the website in the description where you can go get free 3DS um, ROMs, but it's not legal for you to download these ROMs unless you own the copy of the game. But even if you do download it, who am I to tell you that you can or cannot? 
no one really checks on this stuff anyway like that so whatever if, if you download it then you know more power to you okay so this is the one you're going to open up once you've downloaded a rom citra qt file load file pokemon omega ruby There you guys have it. Now the controls are already mapped at first, but you can go inside of emulation and you can map the controls. Also the sound does work as well, so I just have the sound turned off because it was annoying me. But here you go, sound back on. And uh, you can change the graphic settings and everything as well. See that's why the sound is annoying me because it's kind of kind of messed up. A little bit loud too right now. Let's turn this down. Do you guys see this works? And if you keep it in a, a smaller screen, it works faster. See that? It's pretty cool, right? This is today's video because you know it's a rainy day outside and whatnot. Can't really go out and explore like you want to. You guys see this though, it's working perfectly. A little teeny bit slow just because my computer's on power save right now, but whatever, you get the point. So, we're going to close out of this. I'm going to go ahead and explain a few things a little bit further to you. And this is my gift to you guys, Shinobis. Literally. This is just something and just All right, my so way of just. If you have seen the previous video and you skipped here, Kudos to you for keeping up with my channel. You're a real shinobi, honestly. Thumbs up for that shit. But no, if you haven't seen the video, you just did. So moving on. The next step you want to do after what you just previously saw in the last video, and I know it's some exciting shit. It's like, dude, it's on my PC. That's a PC tutorial, right? On how to put um, the 3DS emulator on your PC and play your po Pokemon Omega Ruby. So now I'm going to show you how to use that and combine it with this, and boom, you have it on your phone, on your Android phones. Now, I don't know about iPhones, they might have a, another um, application on there that does something similar to what I'm about to show you guys, but if not, I'm sorry guys, you shouldn't have an iPhone anymore. They fucking suck. And they don't give you as much, they don't give you as much like freedom or control over your phone to, as Androids do, really. iPhones are losers. Real shit. Okay, moving on. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna direct your attention to your Android phones. Let me get mine out. Okay. Now once you're on your Android phone, you're gonna go to the Play Store, right? There is a free version of this app and there is a paid version without advertisements. Now, that's, it's important that I stress that to you. The one with advertisements is very annoying, but it, it still works if you don't have the money for this. So it is free. But if you want to spend the extra money, you can get this application with no advertisements, which is very, very, very useful. All right. I, of course, paid for it because I don't mind dropping a couple bucks on it. It's definitely worth it. So what we have here is an application called Caney. And it's probably backwards, you're seeing it probably backwards right now because I'm recording with a front-facing camera on my Surface Pro 4, but it's called Kaney. It's um, a remote gaming desktop application. Now, you, like I said, you can get the free version. There is an ads version right here below it. That's K-A-I-N-Y. You just search that up in the Play Store. Now, once you get that, you go ahead and open it up on your phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and click open. I already have registered my computer, so we're not gonna, this is actually my old computer. I've already registered and whatnot, so I 
don't really need to do it again but I'm going to do it for the purpose of this tutorial so moving on you would click on one of the available slots you would click on edit once you click on edit you're greeted with this screen what it says is server name KME ID local um, address internet address password now you need to fill all those things out the only way to do that is to now jump on your computer and install the Kaney server. So all you will have to do literally is jump on your computer, open up Google and type in Kaney Windows PC and boom, download that from the official Kaney website. Hold on one second, open my other computer. All right, and once you download that, you will open up Kaney on your computer and all you have to do literally is go over to where it says settings and click on network and then in there it's going to have all this information for you right all that information then you're going to go ahead and copy that information over to here once you've copied it you click on on back you back out of it and then you click on connect after you after you touch your computer you click on connect you'll connect to your computer and then all you have to do literally is run the 3ds emulator from your computer with your phone and it will be like boom blazing fast too and you can change the um i believe you can change the image um what is it called image quality the image quality you can change it on here so if you have a slow connection you can set it to very low image quality which it doesn't really matter for it's a 3ds game it's not going to be the best quality you know so go ahead and uh jump on there and get that started up Next, I'm going to show you guys how to get your controller set up with this. So if you guys are still working on uh, getting this connected to your computer, go ahead and pause the video and just um, wait until you got all that set up. But if you have that set up, you go ahead and exit out of this application and you're going to go ahead and you're going to get another application. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to get this one for free because I'm you don't really have to pay for it i mean you can i did but i figured i'd just give it away for free help you out help you out a lot more you appreciate it a lot more so let's go ahead and do that first things first you're going to go to your settings you're going to enable unknown sources if you don't know what that is google it you have to i don't i don't feel like going through this i've told you guys how to do it in previous videos but i don't feel like going through it all over again if you don't know how to enable unknown sources just google it so you're going to enable unknown sources then you're going to google this you're going to download an application that is going to allow you to get all free games so you're going to type in on google a-p-t-o-i-d-e what that spells is aptoid once you get to google you go ahead and click download install aptoid i already have it installed all you literally have to do is open up aptoid as you can see aptoid's right there so boom aptoid's open you go in there. Um, no, I don't want to update app to it. I'm fine with the one I have. You go in there, and then you're going to download an application called Six Axis Controller. Now, if you have an Xbox controller or a Wii controller or any other type of controller, there's a few other steps you got to do to get this to work. But if you have a PS3 or PS4 controller like I do, you can just use that controller for your phone and play your Nintendo 3DS with it, which is really fucking sweet. That's really fucking Really fucking sweet, mate. I wasn't able to do this when I was a fucking kid, man. Like, you guys are fucking lucky. All right, so moving on. You're gonna get that application called Six Axis Controller. Here, I'm gonna type it in. Six Axis. I'm sorry that it's backwards. You guys are gonna have to learn how to spell. If you don't know how to spell Six Axis, then I feel bad for you because it's literally just a number and the word axis combined into one. So, yeah. Six Axis. Now. It looks like this. Choose me See that? Six axis controller. Yes. Yeah. Looks good, right? So you go That's ahead and just that boom. Click that hear. shit. Click install. Yeah. Boom. Shit All downloads and installs. Is and then you got it. So once you get the six axis controller, you need to have root access. If you don't have root access, this ain't gonna work, unfortunately. If you don't have root access, you're gonna have to create a controller with Kaney. Which is very cool. You can do that as well. It takes a little bit of configuration, but it's definitely worth it. Very, very, very worth it. You can make a controller on your screen that looks any way you want it to, and you'll have a touchscreen. So it's definitely worth it. 
I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to get this up and running so you guys can see it in action live and you don't you can you'll be able to not just take my word for it but see that I it is exactly what I'm saying it is which is it is on the phone at the same time it's going to be a lot for the handle but you can see And if you have a stronger computer, your shit is gonna be blazing fast. I have a Surface Pro 4 i5. You can look the specs up of it if you want. It's decent, it's pretty good. But as I said, I'm recording video of my face while I'm freaking playing, emulating a game at the same time while streaming the footage to this at the same time. So it's a lot, hell of a lot. There you have it. There's your 3DS emulator on your phone. Let me go ahead and exit this. I broke everything down for you guys. I really hope that you are appreciative of what I've done. If you appreciate it, please, please, please go ahead and leave that a thumbs up on this video. Smash that shit right quick. And uh, let's say, let's try to reach, I don't know, 500 likes on this video. I don't, I don't know. Let's set the bar pretty, pretty decently low so you guys we can keep on building goals for ourselves. But yeah, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, if you were playing Pokemon on your motherfucking phone right now and you got a 3DS on your phone right now, smash that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below if you need help at any type of help at all, I'll go ahead and try to make sure that everybody can get this up and running because everybody can get this up and running. It's completely 100% free. So like I said, smash that thumbs up. That's all I ask you to do. Go subscribe to the channel. I update as much as I can. Usually it's sometimes I do it every single day. Other times it's maybe every two or three days. But like I said, for your chance to win a Nintendo 3DS, you better subscribe to this channel. Trust me. You can get a free Nintendo 3DS with 37 games. 37, all on me. And all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel. You automatically are being entered for your chance to win. And like I said, my 10,000th subscriber will be the person who gets the 3DS. And now I'm not telling you guys how many subscribers I have. I have it hidden for that specific reason. But a 10,000th subscriber will get a 3DS. Well, actually, it won't be the 10,000th subscriber, but when we get 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna go through my subscribers and I'm gonna find one person that I will let be the winner. Excuse me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay sharp, Shinobis. As always, stay healthy, stay positive. See you guys later. Peace out.